Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today guys, I will show you on how to fully synchronize the lighting effect of this bad boy right here with your motherboard lighting controller. And this one is the RX 5500 XT from Sapphire and also this is the Nitro Plus Special Edition version. So stick around, this one's for you. First, we need the motherboard that support ARGB lightings, alright? It means that your motherboard should have an ARGB header. Not all motherboards have this feature, so you better check your motherboard manufacturer website for the specs of your motherboard. And please don't be confused about the RGB and the ARGB, alright? Yes, they do work the same, but they are not really compatible with each other. So take note, that's the number one on the list. Second guys, we need an ARGB connector. This one is an ARGB splitter cable that I uh, split uh, one channel to three channel. Because I'm using a motherboard that only have one ARGB header. That's why I really need to use an ARGB splitter. You can always find this online on Shopee or Lazada. And this one cost me around 150 pesos. And this is how my ARGB splitter looks like. So as you can see guys, it has 3 pin on it. And I'll be putting this one on my motherboard. And the other 3 will be used on my graphic card, on my case fans, and I think this one, I can use this one on my AIO, alright, if, if I'm gonna buy an AIO in the future. To locate guys the ARGB connector of the Sapphire RX 5500 XT, it's uh, right here actually. As you can see guys, uh, it has an arrow. And those are the three pins, as you can see. So I'll be connecting one here. There you go. As you can see guys, it's connected. Alright. Moving on your motherboard guys. Uh, you need to find the ARGB header and here I have the ASRA B450 still legend and the ARGB header is located at the bottom so there you are the, the three fins this one right here this uh, connector right here is my uh, ARGB fans so I'll just push that inside and try to connect the splitter the ARGB cable guys comes also with this a female to male converter so I can also use that one to connect my ARGB fans just plug one there so here is my ARGB cable connected at the GPU then uh, it went down and connect the end so I think we're ready to fire this thing up and let's see let's turn it on we need to download two softwares guys one is your motherboard software in my case I use the polychrome alright and just install it and the second software is the Sapphire Tricks and the version is a 7, 
7.5 so we need to install both software as you can see it's not yet sync on my motherboard if you run the ASRock if you have ASUS you can download the ASUS Aura Sync for Aorus or Gigabyte you have the Fusion 2 for MSI it's it's the Mystic Light what else so as you can see we can change the mode here and now it's in uh, rainbow mode we can choose static breathing as you can see hey. my fans my my ram are all syncing with the motherboard but the software is still not in sync mode so what we do guys is to open uh, software tricks and just go to nitro glow tab and here on the rgb effects style you will see some mode just select the external source and now guys everything is sync with your motherboard controller let's look at the, at the fans at the bottom and just play with the settings there i got the breathing you can change that on cycle neon water also have the rainbow you can turn it up if you want or just a static single color of your choice All right any color you want is that cool? and now I'm also thinking to get a vertical GPU mounting so I can showcase the the fan lights of this Nitro Plus which is uh, really beautiful so I think it's better to, to get a vertical GPU mounting but I'm still knowing what to get because the graphic card itself is classified as PCIe 4 and most of the vertical GPU mount available today are just PCIe 3.0 as you can see in the box but my ASRock B450 still legend is just it's just PCIe 3.0 so I think PCIe 3.0 riser will do it's much easier for us if software included the cables on this graphic card because they already put these features and they did not provide the connector hopefully Sapphire would realize that but anyway I still like it I think that's it from now and I hope you liked what I've shown today and if you like this video guys please hit the like button and if you're not subscribed yet please click the subscribe button and the bell button and i'll see you guys in my next video